Okay, so there's one more uh, step you'd want to do on your base uh, image. We are going to run Pi Assistant again, and we will use this to upgrade or to update our system. Uh, now, an update on Raspberry Pi consists of uh, three consecutive steps, and we always start with cleaning our system. It's going to remove every package that already exists on the system that was downloaded to perform an earlier update. In the second step, we're going to uh, select the update button. What this will do is it's going to download a lot of packages uh, that are that are needed to perform the upgrade in the final uh, step. This is going to take a while, um, so just let it run and uh, unpause later. Okay, so now you get a message: status done, meaning that you can go to the next phase. We click uh, phase three upgrade. And in the same terminal, it's going to start installing all of the software uh, that's been downloaded in the previous step. From time to time, you will be prompted by the Raspbian operating system if you want to overwrite a certain file or if you want to actually install them. Uh, this is the case where, uh, in this case, it's asking me if I want to install an update that's using about 3 megabytes more of additional hard space, hard drive space. I'm going to press Y, that's yes, and then enter. And then it's redoing uh, or uh, continuing the entire upgrade. Okay, so uh, it took a while, it took, uh, I think it took 20 minutes or something. But uh, as you can see, the machine is now giving us uh, a message saying its status is done, meaning that our Raspberry Pi uh, has all the most recent updates installed. We can now close Pi Assistant or we can just select the reboot option which is something I'd recommend you to do after every update or upgrade. Uh, upgrading your system is also uh, quite crucial. Um, there aren't many crucial bug fixes in uh, the Raspbian operating system, but uh, nonetheless I do recommend you to perform them. Uh, however, um, in the course of the next few videos we will edit some of the crucial system files. For instance the lightdm.config file and uh, we've already edited the config.txt file. Uh, from time to time there will be an update uh, overriding these files. Now it's always going to ask you if you want to override them or not. And uh, you can do two things. Either you choose no, I don't wish to override them, which is perfectly fine. Or what you can do is you can override those files and redo the modifications to all of those files. Now this is the most time consuming uh, option, but it is the safest as well. Um, in general, I wouldn't bother with actually overwriting the files. Uh, we don't have you. Uh, you won't have uh, SSH enabled on your machine, so that's one less uh, vulnerability that's going to be present on your system. And our users won't have sudo access to the system itself, so that's not going to be a big issue as well. Uh, anyway, it's something you'll have to keep in mind and uh, you will have to uh, talk about this with your colleagues. So uh, what you can do now is you can just press the reboot but option or power off button depending on uh, whatever you wish to do. I'll still continue working on mine so I'll press reboot and I'll see you in the next video.